Hello friends, I am Dr. Aniket Pavnoji and you are watching Basic Chemistry. Welcome to the next lecture of Chemistry of Coordination Compounds. In the last video, we have started with the isomerism in coordination compounds and in that we have seen structural isomerism. In this video, we will study stereoisomerism or space isomerism which is the second part of isomerism in coordination compounds. In the first part, we have studied structural isomerism and in this part, we will study geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism. The second type of isomerism in coordination compounds constitute of stereo or space isomerism. The first type of stereoisomer is geometrical isomerism. Compounds with the same composition differ only in the relative positions in space occupied by certain of their constituent atoms or groups which are called as ligands. These ligands may occupy position adjacent to each other which is called as cis or opposite to each other which is called as trans. This type of isomerism is called as cis trans isomerism. Let's study geometrical isomerism with coordination number 4. Coordination compounds with the coordination number 4 can have two types of geometries. The first is square planar and the second is tetrahedral. In tetrahedral complexes, the ligands have position equivalent to each other. For example, in this tetrahedron, if you consider this ligand, all three ligands, these three ligands have equivalent position to the first one. That means they are at same distance and at same angle. So these three ligands cannot be distinguished from each other. Hence, tetrahedral complexes do not show geometrical isomerism. In case of square planar complexes, two ligands are adjacent to each other and two ligands are opposite to each other. Hence, square planar complexes can show geometrical isomerism. Let's study square planar complexes for the geometrical isomerism. In case of square planar complexes, we must remember complexes of the type MA4 that is all four ligands are same, MA3B, three ligands are same and one is different or MAB3 have no geometrical isomers because all possible arrangement around the metal ion will be exactly the same. Let's start from MA2B2 type of complexes where two ligands are same and two ligands are different. The square planar geometry is generally exhibited by platinum and palladium complexes. In this example, we can see that two chlorine atoms are adjacent to each other or they are on the same side. Therefore, this isomer is called as cis isomer. In this example, the two chlorine atoms are opposite to each other. This isomer is called as trans isomer. This cis trans isomer is the type of geometrical isomerism. Let's see the next example of MA2BC complexes where two ligands are same and third fourth ligands are different. In such case, we have to see the two ligands which are similar to each other whether they are on the same side or opposite side. Here the two chlorine atoms are on the same side. This is a cis isomer. The trans isomer of this compound will have two chlorine atoms opposite to each other. In this way, we can see the two similar atoms whether they are on the same side or opposite side and we can decide the cis trans isomers. Let's go for the next type MABCD type of complexes. Here definitely we cannot have cis trans isomers but there could be some different arrangements of the ligands around the central metal atom. As for example, ammonia and bromine are on the opposite side. In the second example, ammonia and nitro group are on the opposite side. And in the third example, ammonia and chlorine atom are on the opposite side. This is a type of geometrical isomerism but it does not consist of cis or trans because as all the four ligands are different, we cannot decide whether they are cis or trans. Now let's take an example where there is an involvement of a bidentate ligand. This type is called as MAB2 type where AB stands for a bidentate ligand. Here I am taking an example where glycine molecule is present as a bidentate ligands. We can see that the two oxygen atoms of the two glycine molecules are on the same side. This isomer is called as cis isomer. In the second case, the two oxygen atoms of the two glycine molecules, they are on the opposite side. This isomer is called as trans isomer. For simplicity, this example can be written in simple form also. Now in this case, the GLY stands for glycine 
and we can write the end atoms that is nitrogen and oxygen. Now two oxygens are on the same side it is a cis isomer and in this case the two oxygen atoms or two nitrogen atoms are on the opposite side it is a trans isomer. Next type we are moving to the coordination number 6 and generally in case of coordination number 6 the geometry of a complex is octahedral. We have to remember in case of octahedral complexes, complexes of the type MA6, MA5B, MAB5 or MAA twice that means AA stands for a bidentate ligand in which the two atoms at the end they are of similar kind. These type of complexes they have no geometrical isomers because all possible arrangements around the metal ion will be exactly the same. Let's see the first type MA4B2 type of complexes. In this example, we can see that the two chlorine atoms, that is the two B type of atoms, they are on the same side. One atom is on the top and the one atom is in the square plane. This isomer is called as cis isomer. In the trans isomer, the two chlorine atoms will be on the opposite side. Another equivalent form of trans isomer will have the two chlorine atoms at the opposite side in the square plane. Remember, these two are equivalent to each other. Let's move to the next type, MA4BC type of complexes where 4 ligands are same and 5th and 6th ligand is different. In such cases, we have to see the position of B and C atoms in octahedral complexes. For example, in this case, look at the position of chlorine and water molecule. These two are on the same side, this is a cis isomer. In the trans isomer, the chlorine and water molecule will be on the opposite side. Next type is MA3B3 type complexes. Now three ligands are same and three ligands are different. For example, in this case, the cobalt is the central metal atom and three chlorine atoms are on the same side. Also three ammonia molecules are on the same side. Same side means this form a certain phase. Similarly, the ammonia side, this also forms one type of phase. This is an example of facial isomer or FAC isomer. The other isomer of facial isomer is called as meridional isomer. In this case, the two chlorine atoms are on the opposite side. Also, the two ammonia molecules are on the opposite side. Therefore, in MA3B3 type of complexes, there is no cis trans isomerism. There is FACMA isomerism. This is also a type of geometrical isomerism. Let's move to the next type. MA2B2C2 type of complexes where we can see there are three types of ligands are present in octahedral complex. For example, in the first case, the two pyridine are on the same side, two bromine are on the same side, two ammonia molecules are on the same side. In the second example, the two bromine atoms are on the opposite side, but two pyridine and two ammonia molecules are on the same side. In the third isomer, the two pyridine molecules are on the opposite side, two bromine are on the same side, two ammonia are on the same side. In the fourth isomer, two ammonia molecules are on the opposite side, bromine on the same side, pyridine on the same side. And in the last case, pyridine molecules are on the opposite side, ammonia molecules are on the opposite side and similarly two bromine atoms are also on the opposite side. Among these five isomers, the first isomer is called as cis isomer where all the molecules are on the same side and the last isomer is called as trans isomer where all the molecules are on the opposite side. Let's move to the next type MAA2B2 type of complexes where AA is a bidentate ligand having the similar atom at the end of a bidentate ligand. In this case, the cobalt is the central atom and now in this type of complexes, just pay attention to the position of two B type of atoms. In this case, the two chlorine atoms are on the same side. This isomer is called as cis isomer. In the other isomer, the two chlorine atoms are on the opposite side. This type of isomer is called as trans isomer. We must remember that MAA2B2 type of complexes also show geometrical isomerism and we have to focus on the position of two B type of ligands. Here the structure of ethylene diamine is slightly bigger and it can be shown in simple way also where EN stands for ethylene diamine. In the cis isomer, the two chlorine atoms are on the same side and in the trans isomer, the two chlorine atoms are on the opposite side. Next type is MAA2BC type of complexes. 
Here we have to just focus on the position of B and C type of ligands. In cis isomer, the bromine and chlorine atom are on the same side, whereas in the trans isomer, the bromine and chlorine atoms are on the opposite side. Let's move to the next type, MAA B2C2 type of complexes. Now here, the cobalt is present as a central atom. EN stands for ethylene diamine, which is on one side. The B2 and C2 type of ligands, they are on the same side. This type is called as cis isomer. In the trans isomer, the EN is at the one side, but two bromine are on the opposite side and two chlorine are on the same side. Next type of complexes is MAB3 type of complexes. In this case, the AB is a bidentate unsymmetrical ligand having two different donor atoms at the end of the bidentate ligand. An example of this type of ligand is a glycine. In case of cis isomer, the two nitrogens are on the same side, two oxygens are on the same side. Whereas in case of trans isomer, these atoms are on the opposite side. Look at the position of these two nitrogen atoms, these two oxygen atoms. These are on the opposite side. This was all about geometrical isomerism and we have studied all the types of geometrical isomerism in case of coordination number 4 also and in case of 6 also. Let's move to the next type of stereoisomerism which is called as optical isomerism. Optical isomerism arises when two compounds having the same molecular composition have arrangement of groups or ions in space around the central metal ion in such a way that one structure is non-superimposable mirror image of the other. Basically, we also study the same in case of organic chemistry. These two mirror images are called as enantiomers. These enantiomers have identical physical and chemical properties, but they differ only in the direction in which they rotate the plane polarized light. If the plane polarized light is rotated towards the right, it is called as dextro-rotatory form. And if it is towards left, it is called as levorotatory form or they are also called as D or L forms. Let's see some examples. We will start from coordination number 4, tetrahedral complexes. There are very few tetrahedral complexes which shows optical isomerism. Here I am considering bis, benzoyl, acetonate, beryllium 2. To exhibit optical isomerism, it is very important that the two isomers should not have any symmetry. That is no center of symmetry, no line of symmetry and no plane of symmetry. For example, in this case, the two atoms at the end are different. And in the mirror image also, the two atoms at the end are different. These two isomers are non-superimposable mirror images of each other. That is, they are enantiomers and these two isomers, they do not exhibit line of symmetry, plane of symmetry and center of symmetry. Therefore, these two are optically active. Let's go for coordination number 6, that is octahedral complex. We will first consider MAA3 type, where AA is a symmetrical ligand, the two atoms at the end are same. We can see there are three molecules of ethylene diamine and this complex doesn't exhibit any type of symmetry. Therefore, this complex is optically active. Just by looking at the structure in two dimensions, you can imagine a plane of symmetry like this which divides the molecule into two parts and hence this is optically inactive. But in case of three dimensions, these two nitrogens are on the opposite side which are connected to the other two nitrogens which are on the same side. Therefore, as a whole, there is no plane of symmetry and this molecule is optically active. The mirror image of this molecule is also an optically active. These two are called as dextro and levo. Just by looking at the structure, we cannot say that a one structure is a dextro and the other structure is a levo. To find out whether it is dextro or levo, we have to prepare a solution of these compounds and we have to pass a plane polarized light through these solutions. If that light is rotated towards the right, it is called as dextro form and if it is rotated towards the left, it is called as levo form. So just by looking at the structure, we cannot decide that one is dextro or levo. But for simplicity, we write one as dextro and the other as levo. We can take another example of symmetrical ligand. The famous example is oxaleto ligand. Here also, there is no plane of symmetry, line of symmetry or center of symmetry. The one form is called as dextro form and the second form is called as levo form. Let's move to the next type, 
that is MAA2 B2 type of complexes. Just pay attention to the position of two chlorine atoms. The two chlorine atoms are on the opposite side. That means there is a plane of symmetry which passes through the molecule and divides the molecule into two halves which are mirror images of each other. This type of complex do not exhibit optical isomerism and we know that this is a trans isomer but because of the presence of plane of symmetry this is optically inactive. The cis isomer of this complex will not have any plane of symmetry, line of symmetry or center of symmetry. This is optically active. The two enantiomers of this cis isomer can be represented in this fashion where one form is called as dextroform and the other form is called as levoform. These two forms are optically active but the trans isomer of this is optically inactive. Here we have completed optical isomerism and also the isomerism in coordination compounds. In the next video of this playlist of chemistry of coordination compounds, we will see what are the different methods to distinguish between cis and trans isomers. If you like my video, click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to mention something or ask something, mention it in the comment box. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.